Hello! We're back in my kitchen and some of you may remember from a video a couple of weeks ago when I said about things that stressed me out, one of them was baking. However, in that same sentence I did say that fairy cakes are the things I can bake to perfection. So today I wanted to show you how I make fairy cakes and I've also got a little helper with me. Little helper! Little helper! Hi! Hello! I'm Alicia. This is my sister, as you can probably tell because we look identical. Um, so we're going to make fairy cakes today. Why is it so red in the face? <laughs> First things first, you need to turn the oven to 190 degrees or 170 if you've got a fan oven. Now we come from a family of five who all love cakes, so obviously you can have the amounts of the ingredients if you want, but to make about 30 cakes you'll need 200 grams of butter or margarine, 200 grams of sugar, caster sugar or normal sugar, either works, 300 grams of self-raising flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, four eggs, a pinch of salt, and 60 millilitres of milk. Okay, so what we want to do first is take the sugar and the butter and put them both into a really big bowl. Mix them together to make a light and fluffy mixture. Now what we want to do with the rest is take the flour and the baking powder and put them both into a separate bowl. We also want to add the pinch of salt to the dry ingredients as well. So I'm just going to do a bit of a sprinkle because no one wants salt under their nails. Looking good, looking good. So you want to get the um, butter and the sugar mixture so that it's all mixed in and it's looking nice and fluffy. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add one of the eggs and a two and a couple of tablespoons of the dry ingredients. Oops. <laughs> and keep mixing. And then when that one's all mixed in, we'll add another egg. And a couple more tablespoons of the dry mixture. And keep mixing that. Yep. <laughs> Pop another egg in there. Is that a bit of shell? Tush. I don't even think that is shell. Okay, it's not shell, it's a bit of <laughs> egg. <laughs> Oh, 
that is true of removing the whisk there. So after you've whisked it for a couple of minutes or so, you should get a nice creamy consistency. So once you've got your cake mixture, now you need to put them into cake cases. Ah, oh, we've made a mess. <laughs> Let's just clean that up. It's on the floor, there's flour on the floor. Earlier today we picked up some really cute little cake cases. We've got a one muffin tray and the others are a little bit small, so we're just going to put our cake cases in the trays. So now the next thing we need to do is get the mixture into the cake cases. So what the technique we're going to use is we're going to take a big spoon and a little spoon and we're going to take a scoop from the mixture on the big scoop, spoon, take it to a cake case and scrape it off with the little spoon there. Oh, I'm going to make a mess. I'm tripping that everywhere. Oh, uh, hold on. What on earth are you doing? making a mess. Oh god. Uh, my spoon's dropping. That is a huge dollop there. Okay, I was about to say the trick is not to get too much on the spoon that you drip it everywhere. Despite the fact that she's already dropped some on my tray, it'll still be neater than yours. Why are you so slow? Look at that! I'm going to go back round afterwards and top them up. So the technique that I'm doing is I'm starting with a little bit in each cupcake case and then going round afterwards and topping them up so that we don't make mess everywhere. Alicia has taken the route <laughs> that you take... Let me just show you this one here, hang on. You're dropping in the other one! Good grief. Alicia's taken the route that we're going to put a crap ton of cake mixture in the cake case and hope for the best. You've got <laughs> cake mixture on my elbow. <laughs> That is a monstrosity of a cake. Then for the last little bit in the bowl that's all stuck around the edge. I will. Uh, you're not going to eat it. <laughs> We're going to use this. Oh, will you stop that? <laughs> We're going to use a spatula. Uh, one of the rubber silicon spatulas and just go around and top up any that look like they need a little bit more cake mixture. <laughs> what the bloody hell's going on? <laughs> oh look, it's in my hair. You're so messy. <laughs> you. Couple of these round where they've got more mixture in and can do with a bit more stability. So now we're going to take these and pop them in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Now we are going to tidy up. Tidy up. Alright, so now that the time has gone, we're going to check our cakes. Oh, they look good. Could you please poke it with a fork? Yep. And you know it's done when the fork comes out clean. Fantastic. So 
So to make the buttercream icing for the cakes, we're going to use 200 grams of butter, approximately 400 grams of icing sugar, an icing bag, and sprinkles. Um, I actually forgot to mention in the ingredients as well, but we'll be making vanilla buttercream icing. So what we've got is 250 grams of butter here, and we're just going to add a bit of icing sugar at a time and mix it all in. Should we add a tiny bit of milk? Use a knife, use a knife! Oh my goodness. Oh, that one came out really nicely, look at that. And we're just using some cute little pink, red and white hundreds and thousands from Secret Ingredients. And ice and butter. Don't buy cheap piping bags. Oh, piping bags! <laughs> Make sure your piping bags don't have bubbles in, otherwise they will pop. We're not very good at icing cakes. <laughs> oh, and also make sure that your muffin cases fit in your muffin tin properly. So thanks for watching today. Um, thank you for joining me as well. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do be sure to give it a thumbs up and also hit subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> nice? No.